Today, we are going to be reading The Fleas Sneeze by Lynn Downey, illustrated by Carla Firehammer. The Fleas Sneeze. On a dark, dark night, on an old, old farm, in a rickety, crickety, tumbled down barn, everyone slept peacefully. A rat, a cat, a black-eyed bat, a cow, an owl, a feathered fowl, a dog, a hog, an old barn frog. Everyone slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him cough. Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. No one heard him. Sniffle, sniffle. Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. Nobody heard his garbled plea. Does anybody have a tissue for me? Not even the mouse he used for a house, or the rat, or the cat, or the black-eyed bat, or the cow, or the owl, or the feathered fowl, or the dog, or the hog, or the old barn frog. They all slept peacefully, but not the flea. Then suddenly, before he could cover his snout, <gasps> a chew! It scared the rat, who cried, boo-hoo, and woke the cat, who hissed, meow, and baffled the bat, whose eyes turned blue, and confused the cow, who muttered, boo, boo. It outraged the owl, who howled, hoo, hoo, and flustered the fowl, who crowed, cock a doodle doo it daunted the dog who barked woo hoo and pray, sprayed the hog who screamed ew and reminded the frog of his old nephew. But the mouse the flea used for a house kindly gave him a tissue. The flea wiped his nose and before his eyes had even closed, he began to doze. For all the rest of that dark, dark night on the old, old farm in the rickety, crickety, tumble-down barn, everyone slept peacefully. The flea and the mouse he used for a house, the rat, the cat, the black-eyed bat, the cow, the owl, the feathered fowl, even the dog and the old barn frog. Everyone slept just like a log, except the hog. No one heard his garbled wheeze. I think I'm gonna sneeze. The end. Achoo! What a big sneeze from a little mouse. Oh my gosh, and all those animals we're stacked right on top of each other. Now, I'm gonna see if you can do some balancing. I want you to find some supplies in your house that you can balance with. I found some bowls, the top of an egg carton, and some, uh, some cardboard from my cereal box that I use. And you can even try maybe balancing with some sticks and create a balancing obstacle course. So I also use some toilet paper rolls that I don't need anymore.
and I stuck them up and down and put my cardboard on top. Now I have my little dinosaurs that I'm going to see if they can balance across. Okay, should we test it out? Ready? That feels good. Feels pretty sturdy, pretty strong. Okay, let's try this one. Let's have the Brachiosaurus. Ooh, ooh, it's a little bendy, but he did it. Okay, now for the Stegosaurus. Let's have on this one. They did it! They balanced! Nobody sneeze. Be very careful. All right, now it's your turn to go and find some supplies and see if you can create a balancing obstacle course. And when you're all done, you can ask a grown-up if you can send a picture to Teacher Ava. All right, have fun. See you. Bye-bye.